A.B. White's death is the latest in a string of gun violence among Santa Fe teenagers this summer. School district leaders and high school students met virtually today to call for an end to the violence and discuss what can be done to prevent it from happening again. Here's News 13's Brittany Bade. Just months away from what was expected to be a promising career as a UNM Lobo. He was only 18 years old. Santa Fe High School basketball star J.B. White was shot and killed during a fight at a party early Saturday morning. It's been one of the most difficult weekends I've ever experienced in my entire life uh, losing a student. White's death marks the third teenage homicide in the Santa Fe area this summer. It breaks my heart, the idea of people's lives being taken away just as it's about to begin. In early June, 17-year-old Igo Perez was stabbed to death by a friend who told police he was on acid at the time. And in mid-July, Capitol High School student Ivan Perez was shot and killed. We've been focusing on the pandemic that is COVID-19, but let's um, remember we have another epidemic that is an epidemic of violence. In a meeting today, many students say preventing gun violence should become part of the curriculum, though the district stopping short of laying out any new kind of protection or prevention plan, instead focusing on resources already available. We have so many more tools now. If you see something, say something. Superintendent Veronica Garcia highlighting an anonymous reporting app and student-led help groups while calling on parents to pay attention. I say to our parents, be mindful of house parties. Let's not forget that there's a current pandemic, but apart from that, be cognizant of students' access to guns. Talk to your children. Garcia also saying all of these deaths were preventable and they need to come together as a community. It's just a beautiful city and, and we're making it ugly right now and I want to see it get back to the beautiful city that it is. Brittany Bade, KRQB, News 13. The Santa Fe superintendent also called on the state legislature to act and crack down on students' access to guns. We've put up the district's entire presentation on our website, krqe.com.